The following two tutorials cover Casablanca add-on software products Disk Transfer and Power Key. These software products are included with several of our premium digital video editors. If you don't yet have either Disk Transfer or Power Key, I encourage you to view these tutorials because I believe the benefits and features you'll see will be well worth the advantage for you to purchase these. To get them on your system, contact your Casablanca dealer or our sales team in Boulder, Colorado. Also take note that the on-screen shots are using previous operating system versions. That's not an issue though, because the operation of both of these software products are identical with Smarted at 6. In this video manual, we're going to take a look at a program called Disk Transfer. Disk Transfer is an amazing little package that brings some new capabilities to your Casablancas that we've never had before. In order to use Disk Transfer, you do need to be using a Casablanca system that is running the 3.5 version and above for your operating system, and we're using 4.0c here. And you do also have to have an internal DVD burner installed inside your Casablanca system. And that DVD software needs to be running at least a 2.2. When you enter in the install product menu here, uh, you could use your all software CD or your all software smart card, insert it into the machine, and read through the list of programs and simply activate disk transfer and you can activate the program using the license code that you might have gotten from your local dealer. So with the program active we're going to hit OK to close here and if there's a CD or DVD it'll tell you to remove that if there's one in there. It will come out here to the edit menu and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a scene in the scene bin and the disk transfer is basically looking for clips in your scene bin to save onto a recordable DVD. The disk transfer is going to save these scenes as uncompressed DVAVI files. Basically when we're saying uncompressed, we're saving these scenes in a digital format so we're not compressing them. So that you can use these images to reload into other scene bins on other Casablancas um, or use to import onto a PC. So let's take a look and see how this works. When you've gotten a scene in the scene bin, for instance, we have this little animation of a sky going on here. And I'm going to save this onto a DVD disc. And I'd recommend getting something like a DVD recordable disc, a rewritable DVD-RW here. Uh, this is going to allow you to erase and rewrite on these discs over and over again. So if you're not using disc transfer as a storage medium, you can use it as a transfer medium to transfer between different hard drives. So if you have one Casablanca and multiple drives, this is an excellent way to save scenes in the scene bin without losing any quality onto a disk and transfer them over to another Casablanca's hard drive. So let's take a look. First thing we need to do is take this scene and save it to the disk. So we'll go to the Finish menu. And with your DVD Arabesque active and the disk transfer active, we'll have a button down the bottom called Disk Transfer. And here's an export option. It's important to note that when you go into the export command here, you do need to have your current Arabesque program empty. So if you have any projects in there, you're actually burning to a normal DVD. And the normal DVD would be something playing back in a normal DVD player. Then you would want to make sure that that project was done and complete and removed. Otherwise, it's going to give you this message to tell you you do need to get rid of it if you have anything in there. And I do, so I'm going to hit yes because we're going to start fresh here. And up comes the disk transfer menu. This is kind of similar to the add film in the arabesque menu. We're taking those scenes from the scene bin and instead of loading them into an area to burn for a regular DVD, we're going to load them into this disk transfer program. So we're going to select our project and currently I'm using the project called Classroom. And I'm going to select the scene in there and here's our scene bin. So we see our list of different scenes in here and I'll come down to our little cloud animation here and we can play it to check it if we wanted to. And we can hit OK here to say, yes, that's the scene. Video number 25 is the scene I'm going to load. Here it tells you your scene length. And it tells you how much percentage of your DVD disc it's going to take up. Remember that an uncompressed scene into your DVD is going to take up quite a bit of space. It's not compressing it to squeeze it onto that disc. So a standard 4.7 gig DVD disc is only going to save about 20 minutes of video. If you're using a dual layer disc, you probably get yourself closer to the 40 minutes. So remember that that's important when you're saving your scenes either for storage or for transfer onto this DVD or recordable disc. 
So we see we have free capacity 99%, and I'll simply say, add this scene. The export command will go across and is now compiled and move that scene from the scene bin right here into disk transfer. So if you had a storyboard that you completed and you wanted to transfer the storyboard, you would need to use the scene button. The scene button is a very powerful button uh, highlighted in many of our uh, Macrosystem productions, whether it's the training video or the tips and tricks DVD, showing you how to make a scene of the whole storyboard using the scene button, creating a layer of it into the scene bin, and then using this disk transfer to take that scene and move it in here for your transfers. So when you hit OK here, what's going to happen is that scene is now going to be saved into the disk transfer portion of the Arabesque program. We will be ready now to actually burn our DVD. However, I'd want to point out one important thing in the disk transfer is over here under your settings button, there's an option under here called disk transfer format. When you're using type 1, this is the kind that you would want to use when you're going to use this to store for Casablanca scenes or transfer from one Casablanca to another. It's basically combining the video and audio elements together. If you're going to choose type 2, this is basically telling the system that the DVD you're going to burn is going to contain video and audio separately. And this is going to be what you'd be looking for if you wanted to take this DVAVI file and take it over to a PC. PC is going to be looking for more commonly the Type 2 format. But this is going to be one that I would want to use on my Casablanca maybe to reload at another time or basically store and save this scene if I wanted to. I could then hit OK once I've chosen the type. And then you could simply click on your Write DVD button to start writing the process of creating your DVD. We're going to speed up this write process just for the purpose of this demo. So once it's done writing, it saved your scene to the disk. I'm going to skip this verify for now, and we're going to come back out and go back to the scene bin. And here's the other area in which you can use the disk transfer. Whether, of course, whatever scene you have selected currently in the scene bin, the new clip will appear to the right. So we're going to go under New. And new is where disk transfer is located for importing. So I'm going to left click on disk transfer and hit OK to activate it. What it's going to do is bring you up a small little menu here, one to give you a display of contents. So you need to eject and put in your DVD if you haven't already done so. I'm going to click on the display contents and it'll look at the list of scenes on that disc, whether it's just one in this case or if there's a dozen, even if they're all short scenes, it'll list them all. And the one you have highlighted, if you hit OK, it will build that one clip to your scene bin. If you did have a big list of a bunch of scenes you saved to that disc, you can click All as a batch load, and it will load all those scenes down the scene bin. The longer the scenes are here, the longer it would take to load them into the scene bin here. Uh, but this five second one should be pretty quick for us. So we'll do an import here. And there it is, here's our original. And here's our new scene an uncompressed, no loss of quality clip transferred in using a DVD. I would encourage you to remember that this program is basically a storage or a transfer device. So for instance, if you have a whole shelf of you know, tapes because you've been doing a lot of tape production over time and age due to the magnetic tape here, uh, we could end up wearing down the heads or starting to get hits on the tape, uh, degrading your overall production quality. So using disk transfer, you can load these scenes into the scene bin like this, all these different clips, save them onto this disk transfer DVD, and then use those as storage to reload onto another project at another time, or maybe if you have to re 